Hey guys, this is Aviation LAS here. Today we're here for another Airport Update for you guys. Today we're doing Los Angeles LAX International Airport Update for you guys. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. I know I am. So I want you guys to leave a like, subscribe, and sub the bell and share the video. And yeah, and all that. without further ado, let's get started with the update. I am so excited to do this. So let's get started with Terminal 1, of course. I don't have a lack of capacity of space when I move to the other side. But hey, then for the left, let's get into it. Uh, let's get started all the way in the back, as you can see. We have the South Wales Airlines for 737-700 in the Louisiana 1 scheme. He just arrived in from Portland, Oregon. He's going to be heading out to Las Vegas. Next along, we have the South Wales Airlines 737-800 in the Freedom 1, as you can see with the USA flag all around. He just arrived in from Santa Barbara or in Billy's Airport, and he's going to be heading out to Sacramento International Airport or Dreamliner Friends 2016 Airport. Next along, we have the South Wales Airlines 737 MAX 8. He just arrived in from Lahui, Hawaii. He's going to be heading to Chicago Midway. Next along, we have the South Wales Airlines 737-700 and the Illinois 1. Uh, he just arrived in from... Um, I will say Dallas Love Field. He's gonna be out to Houston Hobby. And last one for Southwest, we have the Southwest Airlines 737-700 and the California One. He just arrived in from Seattle. He's gonna be heading out to uh, Chicago here. Now let's get started with Terminal 2 and Terminal 3. Of course, I don't have any space to do Terminal 3. But hey, this should do, so. I, just, I decided to mix it all up. So let's get started all the way in the back, as you can see right there. We have the Delta Connection in Bird E-175, the little one in the back. He just arrived there from Sacramento International Airport, and he's going to be heading out to Reno, Tahoe. And next one, next to that, we have the Delta Airlines Airbus E-320. Uh, he just arrived there from Austin, Texas. He's going to be heading out to Dallas, Fort Worth. And next one, we have the big pencil right here. We have the... Delta Airlines for 757-300 with winglets. Uh, he's just arrived there from Detroit. He'll be returning back there. Next along, uh, the last plane on the right side, the bottom right, we have the Delta Airlines for 757-200 with winglets. Again, he just arrived there from New York, John F. Kennedy, and he'll be returning back there. And next along, we have the Delta Airlines Airbus A350-900. Uh, he's just arrived there from Atlanta. Um, Harfield Jackson, he's gonna be out to uh, Sydney, Australia. Now, let's get on with those regional jets. I can you see those CRJs. I gotta say, this liner really does hit the spot, honestly. Let's get started at the um, at the top side right there. We have the Delta, Delta Connections, um, from Bardier CRJ 700. He just arrived there from Aspen, he'll be returning back there. And that's the one we have the legendary Delta Connection from Bombardier CRJ 900, the rarest airplane for Gemma just released in 2021. I can't wait to get the uh, 2024 release in close JJ CRJ 900 since he's replacing the other one. So I'm so excited to get that one. Anyway, he just arrived there from Atlanta, Hartford, Jackson. He'll be returning back there. Yeah, CRJs did come from one time, and they came from Atlanta and he'll be returning back there. Now let's get started with the rest of the Delta lineup. Uh, we have the, all the way at the top, we have the Delta Airlines Airbus E321 in the thank you livery. He's arrived there from Atlanta, he'll be returning back there. Next along we have the Delta Airlines 737-800 with the champion sticker. I uh, just arrived there from Las Vegas and he's gonna be heading out to Kansas City, which is gonna be my future flight pretty soon. Since I am flying directly from Las Vegas, one stop to Los Angeles. And then, um, and then on my way to Kansas City for the Airliners International Convention. And last one, uh, special thanks to Red River Aviation for the model. I really do appreciate it. We have the Delta Airlines Airbus A320 Aero Classics. Thank you so much, Red River Aviation. I really do appreciate it. Since they are one of the biggest pieces for my Delta lineup. So we have the Delta Airlines Airbus A320. Uh, he just arrived in from Las, Las Vegas. And he's going to be heading out to... Dallas Fort Worth. Now let's get started with the um, northeast side of Tom Bradley. So we have first one at the top, we have the Ebot Air Airbus A330 300. In the Hello Kitty livery, I uh, just arrived from Taipei and he'll be returning back there. Again, I don't have Ebot Triple Sevens because I always send the Triple Sevens, so hopefully I get one soon on the airliners or the next LAX convention. 
and it makes it long last one for um you have the Cathay Pacific Airbus ET51000 he just arrived from Hong Kong and he'll be returning back there now let's get started with the north side of uh, Tom Bradley let's get started with those three aircrafts right here look at this first one all the way in the back and on the top of your screen we have the Birch Atlantic 1787-9 Dreamliner uh, he just arrived there from London Heathrow in the UK and he'll be returning back there. That's the only route they could take. They used to do Manchester routes back in 2019, but due to COVID, uh, that's not gonna happen for a little bit. So hopefully they're bringing back that service. Um, yeah. And next one, next side, the middle, we have the Qatar, Boeing 777-200LR. Uh, he just arrived there from Doha Hamed, and he'll be returning back there. Uh, I don't have any AT51000, but the 777 is perfect for now once I get the AT51000s and the 900s. And last one at least, I wish this I wish this uh, plane was still flying and this server was still on. We have the Malaysia Airlines Airbus E380. They just arrived here from Kuala Lumpur and he'll be returning back there. Next along, our next king, actually the most famous and usual kings, we have the Emirates Airlines Airbus E380 in the Green Expo. I will get the new livery because that plane unfortunately had to be repainted. So this aircraft arrived in from Dubai, hope you return back there. And next along, uh, we have the Latanza 747-8i. I uh, just arrived. He just arrived in from Frankfurt, Germany. He'll be returning back there. I will get the NG models, the retro Yankee Tangy. Is because of course I seen it for the first time several months ago. It was awesome to see it. So I'm so excited to get that aircraft and replace the Gemini I want because this plane has some major issues. So I will get a replacement of the Yankee Tangy and the regular Lufthansa 747 as well. Thank you, NG models. Next along, let's get started with the last uh, two aircraft, two wide bodies at the west side of Tom Rally. So we have the Qantas Airbus E380. He just arrived there from Sydney, Australia. And he'll be towed to the hangars for maintenance, as usual. Next along, uh, we have the Korean Air 777-300ER. Again, I don't have any Korean or Asiana at all. I mean, I do have Korean Air, but I don't have Asian or Korean. A380 since they are back into Los Angeles, so I had to use the triple seven for now. But of course, it's fine. Once once the airliners, hopefully they have it available. So we had the Korean Airport triple seven that's three hundred ER. I just arrived there from Seoul, Chan, South Korea, and he'll be returning back there. Next along, we have the we have the last international side of the the southeast corner of Tom Bradley. So let's get on with the back as usual. We have the Latanza Airbus A350-900. I would love to get that A380 since you know they are available and also they come to Los Angeles now. But I can't because first of all, they're too expensive. Like I'm, I'm afraid to buy an A380 to be honest because once I saw the actual prices, it actually scares me. Because it used to be like $50, but they raised up the, Gemini just raised up the price almost $80 and I'm afraid to buy an A380 because of that price but luckily there are some other retailers that have made at least like $50 which is fine with me like West Coast Diecast or DG Pilot, ET Toys, Jet Collector, Texan Airplane Store and what was the other one? Yeah I think that's about it. Flyman, no not Flyman models at the same prices but yeah those retailers helped me a lot and I really do appreciate them a lot and yeah, so we have the Latanza A350-900 uh, for now, once I get the A380. Uh, he just arrived there from Munich, Germany, and he'll be returning back there. And next along, uh, we have the British Airways B-Bird, Boeing 787-10. He just arrived there from London Heathrow, he'll be returning back there. Last one, special thanks to Dreamliner Fantasy Last 16. Shout out to you, buddy. We have the On the Pond Airways ANA, Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner in the Future Promise. Uh, he just arrived in from Tokyo Haneda. He'll be returning back there. So special thanks uh, to Dreamliner Fan 2016. He gave me this model as a little present since I gave him a model at the back of the airliners at DFW. It was it, we had an awesome time and I surprised him first and then he surprised me back. I gave him the Gemini 250 American NV80 and he gave me the ANA future promise dreamliner so a special thanks to you he knows how much i really want an a and a pretty badly and somehow unexpectedly he gave me the surprise so special thanks to you buddy i really do appreciate it and i can't wait to see you at kansas city dreamliner friends about 16. now let's get started with terminal four and we got quite few heavies 
and per perfectly good, I gotta say. So let's get started with all the way to the back as usual. We have the American Airlines Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Special thanks to Red Red Aviation who gave me this model. Really do appreciate it, buddy. I right, just arrived there from Seoul, Chon, South Korea. And he'll be returning back there. Excuse me, I almost worked for a minute. Uh, we have the American Airlines for 777-300ER. Uh, he just arrived right there from London Heathrow. He'll be returning back there. And last one, last heavy. Again, thanks to Robert Aviation. We have the uh, American Airlines for 777-201 World. In the One World livery, excuse me. Yeah, One World livery. Um, it's a 200ER. He just arrived there also from London Heathrow. And he'll be returning back there. Uh, American Airlines is pretty popular with London Heathrow routes, honestly. At least like two, three routes, four routes a day, which is absolutely insane. So yeah, and that rhymes like kind of creeped me out. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy to see a lot of American heavies around in LAX. Now let's get started with some um, narrow bodies at Terminal Four. First one at the left side, we have the American Airlines Airbus A320 with IAE engines, and I must be I must be the only person who got it not broken because everybody's. Because that plane, everybody got it broken, including Reverend Aviation, JJ Skippy, pretty much everybody except Aviation ATNI. So I must be the luckiest people who, who got it in time that everybody did. I feel so bad. But yeah, this aircraft just arrived there for Phoenix Sky Harbor. He'll be returning back there. Um, this is pretty amazing. I love seeing A320s uh, around LAX. And next up, we have the American Airlines Airbus E319 Allegheny. I did say I'm not going to use it for uh, any airports, but due to like, I don't know how many A319s, so I decided to use this one. Um, we have the American Airlines Airbus E319 Allegheny Retro. Uh, he just arrived in from St. Louis, and he'll be returning back there. Look at this 737 lineup. Yes, that's what I love to see right there. Look at this lineup, people. Look at this 737 American Airlines lineup. Ah, I'm so happy that I, I almost complete my fleet yet. Not yet, though, because I am missing the three retros. And then that's it. I am done with 737 unless I flew on one of them or NG or Gemini release another one. I don't know, but the three retros is what I want, which is the Reno Air, TWA, and... We didn't really see Air Cal, Air Cal Retro. I already got the original Chrome and the Astrojet Retro. So I just only want three more, then that's it. I'm done. So let's get started. So let's get started in the bottom. We're going to do something a little bit different. Let's get started with the bottom. Uh, the bottom of your screen, we have the uh, American Airlines 737-800. Uh, the recent NG models release. Uh, he just arrived there from Austin, Texas. He's going to be heading out to Las Vegas. Next along, we have the American Airlines 737 MAX 8, uh, 2018 Gemini release. Best release of the American Airlines for Gemini Jets. Thank you so much. Uh, he just arrived then from Phoenix Sky Harbor. He'll be returning back there. And next along, uh, right on top of that, we have the American Airlines 737 800 in the one world livery. Uh, he just arrived then from Chicago O'Hare. He'll be returning back there. That's the one on the screen. Let's get started. Let's zoom in. There you go, yeah. Look at this. All right, so we have the American Airlines 737-800 with the new logos on the winglets. Special thanks to NG Models. Uh, speaking of which, I did see the Zach aircraft after it got painted to the new winglets in Guatemala City. So that's why I really wanted that aircraft because I actually did see this in real life. So for the first time, and I'm really happy to see that. So this aircraft just arrived in from Raleigh Durham, and he'll be returning back there. Let, let's get started with the taxiways. This is one of the taxiways. We have the British Airways Boeing 747-400. Just about there from London Heathrow as well. He'll be returning back there. Let's get started with Terminal 5. Yeah, Terminal 5 is what it is. Yeah, look at this. So let's get started all the way at the top. Let's get my camera right there. Focus. There you go. So we have the Motel 6 of the skies. School bus Spirit Airlines Airbus A321. Uh, he just arrived in from Charlotte, and he'll be heading out to Las Vegas. And next along, we have the American Airlines Airbus E321. Excuse me for my camera right there. Yeah, there you go. We have the American Airlines Airbus E321S in the flagship Viler livery. Uh, he just arrived in from Dallas, Fort Worth, and he'll be returning around back. Next along, let's, let's finish the American lineup. We have the American Airlines Airbus A321 with CFM engines. Uh, he just arrived there from Charlotte, and he'll be returning back there. 
Last one, all the way to the bottom, we have the American Airlines of us E321 Neo. Uh, he just arrived there from Philadelphia, and he'll be heading out to Las Vegas. Now let's get started with some Jet Blues. We got a whole bunch of Jet Blues, honestly. We got like six Jet Blues, and I'm really happy for that. So let's get started with the left side of, of Terminal 5. Uh, we have the Jet Blue Airways Airbus E321 Neo, and the balloon still to your left side of the screen. Uh, he just arrived there from New York, John F. Kennedy. He'll be returning back there. And next, on right to the right side, we have the JetBlue Airways Airbus A321S in the prison tail. And so the Airliners International exclusive is because it has to zoom into the screen. R200 aircraft sticker, yes. This used to be Airliners International exclusive. Um, Airliners International is the biggest, one of the biggest airplane convention in the world. Please go to it. It's from June 26th to 29th in Kansas City. So hope you guys. I hope to see you guys soon. So this aircraft arrived there from Boston Logan. He's gonna be heading out to Fort Lauderdale. I'm really happy for this model. Honestly, thank you so much, West Coast Diecast, for doing this model for for us, and I really do appreciate it. Honestly, this model is the best. Now let's finish the JetBlue lineup. Look at this. Yes, that's what I love to see. So we have a bunch of JetBlues. Honestly, I'm really happy I'm doing this. So let's get started to the bottom. We have the JetBlue Airways Airbus E320 the high rise tail, the one at the bottom of your screen. Uh, he just arrived there for Reno Tahoe. He's gonna be heading out to San Francisco. Next along to the top side, we have the JetBlue Airways Airbus E320 with the iHeart New York paint scheme. Uh, he just arrived there from Las Vegas and he'll be returning back there. And next along, we have the JetBlue Airways Airbus E220-300 and the um, rabbit tail, something like that. The jump tail, jump tail, something like that. Yeah, I think is what it is. Oh, uh, you just arrived there from Boston, Logan. He'll be returning back there. All right, last one, top of your screen right there. We got a special rare model. Uh, special thanks to Rubber Aviation again for the high rides. And this one, we had the JetBlue Airways Airbus E320 with Sharklets with a very rare bar hotel from Velocity Models. Thank you so much, Rubber Aviation. I really do appreciate it a lot. I always wanted the JetBlue E320. With sharklets and thank you so much for it so this guy just arrived in from uh uh i'm gonna get a, i'll send it out to porta by that time he's gonna be heading out to cancun all right so let's get started with the alaska lineup look at this alaska lineup let's get started with the top back to usual but <laughs> uh let's get started at the top side of your screen uh, we have the Alaska Airlines 0737-900 ER in our commitment livery. Uh, he just arrived in from Guatemala City. He's going to be heading out to Seattle. Next along, we have the Alaska Express, uh, Alaska Horizon and Bright E-175 in their Army of Those Who Serve livery. Operated by Horizon Air. Uh, he just arrived in from Portland. He's going to be heading out to Las Vegas. Next along, uh, we have the Alaska Airlines 0737-900 without winglets. Uh, he just arrived there from Puerto Parata. He's going to be heading out to Mexico City. And last one, we have the Alaska Airlines Airbus E321 Neo. The, the bottom sign, the bottom plane of your screen. Uh, he just arrived there from Newark. And he'll be returning back there. Next along, we have this legend, Air Canada Boy, 777-300ER. He just arrived there from Toronto Pearson. And he'll be returning back there. Let, let, now let's finish it with the rest side of Terminal 6. Let's finish this off with Terminal 6. First one, the bottom, we have the Air Canada Airbus E220-300 in the retro livery. Uh, he just arrived there from the Toronto Pearson as well, and he's going to be heading to Vancouver. Next along, we have the Viva Airbus, Airbus, Airbus E320. <laughs> it's Viva Airbus, excuse me, it's Airbus. I don't know why they call it that, but it's whatever. We have the Viva Airbus, Airbus. <laughs> Airbus E320 with Sharklets, of course. It's not actually Viva Airbus, but I cannot find a regular Viva Airbus. This is just a Colombian Viva Air. So this aircraft just arrived there from um, Monterrey. It's gonna be after Mexico City. Next along, I wish this airline was still around. We have the Interjet Airbus E321 Neo. I wish that airline was still around, but unfortunately, that thing got bankrupt and retired most of his aircraft, unfortunately, and that thing won't be back anytime soon. So this aircraft just arrived there from Mexico City and he'll be returning back there. And last one, we have the Hawaiian Airlines Airbus E321 Neo. He just arrived there from Kuala Kona. He's gonna be heading out to Kakalui, Hawaii. Last one for the taxiway, we have the American Eagle Embraer E-175 LR, operated by Envoy Air. 
Uh, he just arrived then from Tulsa, Oklahoma, a Red River Aviation Center board. It will be returning back there. Now let's get started with Terminal 7, which is part of the United lineup. So let's get into it. We have a lot of United's we have to go through. <laughs> That's it. So let's get started with the bottom side. We have the United Airlines Boeing 737-800 with the Evo Blue Scheme. Uh, he just arrived there from Las Vegas. He's going to be heading to Houston IAH. And next up, we have the uh, United Airlines, excuse me. United Airlines Boeing 737-800 and the Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker livery. Uh, he just arrived in from Chicago O'Hare. He's gonna be heading out to Newark. And last one, of course, I don't have any CRGs or any rares, so I have to use this. And once I, re once I get them, I will retire them. So at the United Express VAE 146, uh, he just arrived in from Aspen and he'll be returning back there. All right, let's finish up with Terminal 7. So all the way in the back, we have the United Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the only re, excuse me. Uh, he just arrived in from San Francisco. He's going to be heading out to Guatemala City. Excuse me, I'm still trying not to burp. I don't know why. So, and let's get started with the middle. We have the United Airlines, 737-900 ER. Uh, with the Eco Sky Slivery. Uh, he just arrived there from Newark Liberty. He's going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. Last one, the bottom, we have the United Airlines, 737-900 ER. And the Continental Retro Livery. Uh, he just arrived in from Honolulu, Hawaii, and he's going to be heading out to um, Cancun. Now let's start with Terminal 8, the last terminal for the airport, so let's finish this off. So let's get started at the top side. Uh, as you see, all the way at the back of the top of your screen, we have the United Airlines Boeing 757-200 and the Hura here, California Livery by NG Models. Thank you so much, NG Models, for doing this aircraft and also thank you for airliners international for letting me having this model and let me find it gotta appreciate it airliners so yeah this aircraft just arrived here for newark liberty he's gonna be heading out to houston iah and next along we have the united airlines point seven seven two hundred and the hurrah here in new york new jersey new jersey livery excuse me by gemini jets uh this aircraft arrived in from um uh Lahui, Hawaii is gonna be heading out to uh let me think real quick. Uh I will say Denver. And last uh next one, excuse me. We have the United Airlines plus 757 200 with the Star Alliance livery. Uh this guy just arrived there from Newark and he'll be returning back. And last one, uh we have the United Airlines right here. Let's move my screen. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we have the United Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the Evo Blue Scheme. Uh, he just arrived in from Chicago here, and he'll be returning back there. Now let's finish up with this airport update. Let's finish this off. I'm so excited to do this. So let's get started at the top side, as usual. All the way to the back, we have the United Airlines Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner. And then in the old livery, he just arrived in from Chucky and Haneda. He'll, he'll be heading out to Sydney. Next along, we have the United Airlines for 777-200 domestic. Uh, he just arrived there from Denver, and he's gonna be heading out to Washington Dulles. Uh, this 777 is pretty sure 26, 25 years old or so. And this aircraft was um, was powered by Pratt Whitney's 4000 engines, and of course, United you know, 777-200s with Pratt Whitney's are my favorite, of course. I can never complain too much. Gotta say, I love those. and. Pretty interesting to see those as domestic since, you know, it is a, it's not an ER. So next along, we had the United Airlines Boeing 787-10 Dream Runner. Uh, he just arrived there from Hong Kong. And he'll be heading out to London Heathrow. And last one, we had the United Airlines Boeing 787-8 Dream Runner. Um, the model sign on your screen, as you can see. Uh, he just arrived there from Washington Dulles, and he'll be heading out to Hong Kong. So that's it for the airport update. I'm so happy I did this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stop the bell and share the video so you never miss another video again. And I'll see you guys in the next airport update. Have a great rest of your day.